Welcome to ECU Flash Training Part 18. In this video, we're going to check out using our launch control feature with our Tefra V7 ROM. This is going to give us the ability to use a basic two-step or being able to use an anti-lag feature. So the anti-lag is going to be able to pull a bunch of ignition timing, add a bunch of fuel that's going to create and promote late combustion. That's going to be raising the pressure and temperature in our exhaust manifold, spinning the turbine wheel faster, and then ultimately generating boost quicker. So we're able to utilize this feature to build the boost that we want when we're launching our car at the drag strip off the line. It's going to be a really key feature to getting your vehicle dialed in if you're making a bunch of power and you have a large turbocharger. So we're going to be taking a look at the tables involved with this, also taking a look in our Megalog viewer, reviewing some data logs so we can understand the key differences of programming from our tables and looking at a data log to evaluate the data so we can get the boost that we want and get the launch that we're after. So we're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be talking about working with our launch control feature in our Tefra V7 ROMs. We actually have two different ways we can implement a launch control. We first have a basic two-step, and then we also have our anti-lag. The anti-lag is going to allow us to build boost rapidly with a large turbocharger off the line so that we can launch with enough power so we don't bog on a stock size turbo that may or may not be necessary. So we're going to take a look at how to set this up and the tables that are going to be working together and how to program it properly. So what I have open right now is a 9417 file, it's an EVO 8 file. Um, whether you're going to be EVO, EVO 8, EVO 9, mass airflow or speed density, the program is going to be the same between all these. So we'll just keep this particular file open here. Let's move into our current ROM metadata and let's move down to our section called limits. And this is going to be where we find our first parameter that we have to program and work with. That's going to be our stationary rev and loader launch. This is going to be acting as our basic two-step control. So if we program this something lower than, let's say, 8,000, um, we're going to find that it's going to be holding us there when we clutch in and the vehicle stopped and we have it in the gear and we simply put our foot to the floor. This is going to be acting as just a fuel cut and essentially uh, limiting us at that same kind of engine or pan we program. So this would be kind of the same idea as having a main rev limiter, but just having it much lower and having it when we're stopped or the vehicle stationary. So it's going to be turning itself off based on vehicle speed. I believe that threshold something like three or four or five miles per hour. So as soon as the vehicle starts to actually accelerate, it's going to shut itself off and the car's going to launch. So we'd set this to something on a stock size turbo, something like 5,500. That's probably a good starting point. And we'll test it out. What we want to do is see how much boost we're going to build. It's important to know what that bottom or baseline is going to be so that we're going to be deciding if we need to have the anti-lag feature used or not because it's really hard on the engine and we don't want to just introduce the anti-lag for no good reason. So what, let's go here and just say we've uh, programmed at 5500. What I have open here in my Megalog viewer represents a quick data log I've taken of a FP green size turbo on an Evo. And we'll find here we can establish what the boost it's building is and just generally how, uh, how aggressive it's going to be building the boost just with that basic fuel cut stationary rev and litter launch. So what we're going to find here, um, I have in my lane and my second graph, which is going to be found right here, I have my Omni 4 bar PSI based boost reading. We have our airflow MUT 2 byte, which isn't super important. Um, we have our wideband and we find our timing advance. So here, what we're going to be paying attention to in the top window, actually we have engine RPM, that's another thing I want to note. So engine RPM is very important too. If we program our launch limiter at 5500, if we're looking up here, it's going to be holding us. We can see the white line kind of goes up here and flat line. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.